the place I call home connects the uh, UK to the Gulf and it takes place in the six Gulf regions, uh, states and also four places around the UK and here at the Mariah Centre this is the ninth out of ten editions of the project. The idea of the project really is to shine a light on people from the Gulf in for people in the UK who may not know nothing about this region and they just kind of look at what the media portrays which is not really an accurate representation at all of the region or the people. So it's really about acceptance and you know kind of getting rid of some of the stereotypes that might be associated with the Gulf regions. So Foreign Sands kind of, the project came about um, when I, I normally come back to Dubai once a year and that's for Christmas. And there was a specific thing that I read um, about sand being imported into Dubai for construction. And that's where the title Foreign Sands comes from. Um, the project is based around the idea at least that sand is imported and then used to kind of make the buildings in Dubai. And therefore, everything in Dubai is made from foreign elements. And the project became a bit of an investigation into the idea that Everything is made from these foreign elements and therefore where is it I sit with Dubai as home? My artwork at this exhibition is uh, Salah, uh, which is the Muslim prayer, uh, which is for me is more of a research, uh, scientific research about the ritual of prayer uh, and uh, how, you know, uh, and, and how we do it and uh, why we do this position from different positions. Uh, and, uh, and, and I tried to translate all these findings in my research into different artwork that I created. The, the act of uh, you know, going down to the earth and like, uh, putting your head down, different positions, everybody do it. Despite their position in society or the rich or poor, at the end of the day, all of them, they pray the same way. It really uh, humbles you and really removes all the ego that you have and makes you more accepting, more different kind of people. I was very delighted to be selected to be part of this project. I decided to, to work on interculturalism because this is something I feel very strongly about as a person. I wanted to tell a story about what it's actually like living in Ras al Khaimah as a British expat and the relationship the British expats actually have with the local peoples, the local Emiratis, because I was kind of informed um, when we came over that they didn't mix and they should kind of, there were some attitudes that they shouldn't mix. And I didn't like that. That really goes against my grain of how I see the world, how I perceive the world. And I, I was actually thinking, I could maybe tell a story here and show other people this is actually how it is, that people do mix well together. You know, when you've got aims, commonalities, friendships, res mutual respects, people find different commonalities in each other. They, they learn how to share things. And they sometimes have, um, Friendships they didn't expect to happen, or even, you know, it can even be a romance, a love, a marriage, you know, that nobody saw or perceived. So I wanted to tell the story um, from young ages all the way to old ages of the friendships, the bonds that were made with them um, between the, the British and the local Emiratis and Azul well Kamer. My project was photographing some places of special significance to me from my childhood and from later life as well. Um, and those were the rivers in the west country of England, uh, the area that I grew up in. And then as a counterpoint photographing places that I spent a lot of time while living in the UAE. My fascination with the rivers began in one particular place that is in one of the photographs in the exhibition, which is the place that my father took me fishing for the first time when I was eight years old. And I had a wonderful time there um, and became um, quite, well, during my teens, became quite obsessed with fishing and spending time by rivers and in natural landscapes. Uh, 
And I think people will always describe home differently. And for me, it's, it can be brought down to a lot of things. It can be brought down to my senses, whether it's a smell, a taste, or a specific sound, or even the feeling of kind of like dry heat as well. Like during summertime in the UK, it kind of brings me back to this kind of idea of home and it's so much of it now has just been associated to whatever I can kind of grasp and hold on to. It's not just a home like somewhere I live or something. No. It's, not, it's more than this. It's, uh, it's the religion I have, the rituals I do. All this is part of the home that I live in. Clichéed as it is, I think home is where the heart is. I think home is a feeling. I think a home is a sense of somewhere that you feel very, very comfortable in your own space. Ideally, with with loved people around you, but you know, Razzle Kamer is my home. I'm here with my husband. I have family back in Scotland, but when I'm here, I feel this is my home. The place I call home is where my wife and child live. In the context of this exhibition, I think I've learned a lot from looking at other people's projects in this exhibition. It's made me think about what makes home. Is it a physical structure? Is it people? Is it a location? Is it where you grew up? Is it where your strongest memories are? Is it the place that makes you feel most secure and safe? But at the end of the day, I just really would return to it's where my family are, where my dependents are. And hopefully that's also the place I go home in the evening. Um,